Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So today we've got another technique using gilding flakes and this time I'm going to be using this gorgeous dye by Sizzix. It's Tim Holtz and it's absolutely beautiful. So first of all I've got my flitter glue, I've got some Sheffield Steel gilding flakes from Indigo Blue and I've already cut my card panel from black cardstock to fit the size of the die which is about four and a quarter by five and a half. And once my fat frame is in, inked up, as it were, with the glue, I'm just rubbing the sponge all over that until it's completely tacky. Next, I'm able to come in with the gilding flakes. These are a really gorgeous silver flake from Indigo Blue. Now, just be mindful that with this technique that we're doing today, you could probably do it with silver holographic cardstock or even silver embossing powder, neither of which I've tried. But knowing the technique that we're going to do, I reckon you could do it with those um, mediums as well. So it's just something to bear in mind if gilding flakes are just not your thing. So once I've run all the gilding flakes all over that panel, I've just removed the excess with my fingers. And then I'm just coming in with a paintbrush just to kind of rub off any excess bits that are left sticking up. You could, of course, use a scoochie foam, which is like an abrasive foam here. But I've chose to use a paintbrush today. And then you can see we've got this gorgeous silver panel. So I'm just bringing in my Big Shot and we're going to emboss using this die today. So I'm just removing my plates. Now I've got the extended plates of the multi-purpose platform and you're going to need tab one if you're using the Big Shot machine. So once I've got tab one, you can see you've got the instructions there for embossing. So first of all, you need a base plate. Then we're going to need the die and we're going to need the silver over the top of it. So I'm just going to line it up first of all. And then once I'm happy that that's in the right place, I'm just going to turn that over and place that on the base plate. I'm then coming in with the rubber mat and the impressions pad. And we're going to run all of that through the die cutting machine. You can do this with any die and you get a beautiful embossed panel. So as you can see, it looks absolutely gorgeous with the silver gilding flakes. So today we're going to add a little bit of colour to this. Now I've got this gorgeous gold acrylic paint. And then I've got some stencil butter from the Crafters Workshop. I've got the colours Fuchsia and Eggplant today. Of course, you could use whatever you've got in your stash. I think something like Luna Paste from Simon Hurley would work just as well for this. Uh, or, of course, you could just use acrylic paint. Um, I'm only using a gold acrylic paint because I don't have a gold in the stencil butter today. But, And all I'm doing is I've added a little bit to my palette and I'm just using it to kind of rub my finger into it. I really only want my finger lightly covered. I don't want any kind of heavy blobs and all I'm doing is going all around the outside of the edges of the flowers with that eggplant colour. Next I'm going to come in with the fuchsia just to add a little bit of variation here so it's just kind of making the flowers two-toned and I'm just again going around all the edges of the flowers with my finger ever so gently. If you don't like getting any product on your finger of course you could use a sponge, uh, you could use a q-tip, a uh, paintbrush, whatever you've got in your stash that you like to use. I'm sure some of the blending brushes that are really small would be perfect for this as well. Once I've done all the flowers, I'm just coming back in with the centers and that's where I'm using the gold. It's a really gorgeous shimmery gold. Um, and then that is the panel finished with all the color. I'm just making sure that I've got it nicely blended in. So next, I'm just cutting down a matte layer of black cardstock. I initially cut that down to four and a half by five and three quarters and trimmed the panel down just to make sure the edges were nice and neat. But I ended up trimming the um, gilding flake panel down to about four by five and a quarter. And then I trimmed the black layer down to four and a quarter by five and a half. And that just meant that it was a nice even border of black and that the panel with the gilding flakes on was really nice crisp edges as well. I'm just using some glue just to attach that down, just making sure that it's nice and centered on the panel. And then I bring in this thank you die from Alina Crafts. Now it's got the sentiment die and also the shadow or outline die. And it's quite a big word die, but I'm not sure if I am going to use the whole thing on my card front. So first of all, I kind of decide to just cut out the shadow uh, words using black cardstock, but it does take up a lot of space on the card front. So I decide that actually, I think we'll try using a smaller sentiment to go with just one of the larger words. Now, I cut it out of white cardstock to see how it would look, and I decided that actually the black and the white looked quite nice. So I decided I'm going to stick the U down to the black part of the shadow die. And then I've got this Thinking of You sentiment from the Funky Fossil Stripback Sentiment stamp set. 
and I'm just going to trim it down and take off the U so that it just says thinking of and then I'm going to use that to go with the bold U sentiment uh, die cut as well. So I'm just going to stick this panel down to a 5x7 card blank. It's got a nice wide white border on it and then I'm going to come in with the sentiment and I decide that I'm going to pop them both up on some foam tape. I'm using this thin foam tape from Alina Crafts for the thinking of you part and then I'm going to use some foam square pads from Craft Stash on the other part of the die. Don't be afraid to cut your foam pads apart um, or in half like I've done here, especially if they don't quite fit the project that you're making at the time. So I'm just removing the backing tape here and I'm just going to stick that down nice and level in the bottom right hand corner of the decorative panel and then I've just popped that thinking of you there. For some gems, just to finish the card off, I've got these lovely gems from scrapbook.com and I'm just trying to work out my placement. I'm just using my finger here just to kind of stick them down. You could, of course, use a wax pencil if that's easier. And once I'm happy with the placement, I then just come in with some quick grab glue and my tweezers and I'm just able to pick them up, add some glue and stick them down. And then that's the finished card for today. So thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's given you some inspiration. Please don't forget to like and leave a comment if you've enjoyed this video. It really helps me out and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.